guys today we will break down this animation how I achieved this effect how to animate these ribbons here when you're first watching this you might think that this is so difficult but everything is well designed shapes and nothing more nothing more apart the shapes okay let's go into this composition there I have two composition one is for ribbons and second one is for text text next to the lines like this okay let's go into the ribbon this is a uh, very interesting part okay what I have here is just a shape layers this is shape layer one like this um, let me just show you the real face of the shape this is what we have now if we go into the part yeah, you see that this is a normal shape. You can change the form. Okay. Then I have another shape here. This is middle orange shape. Let's turn off the alpha mate to no truck mate. And you can see that I have another shape here. the path ah, it's a normal shape and I have uh, the last orange shape let's do it again no truck mate yeah. what is happening here is these shapes are designed in a way that this is connected to the final design of the logo this is the final shape of the logo let me find it here there are a bunch of layers so it's a little bit hard to figure out where is yeah this is the pattern part but i would like to see the main orange ribbon yeah that's it this part and this part so this part another yeah this part also I have used the trim pass here uh, to create animation now if you turn off let's change the color to red to understand what is happening here now it goes like this this is trim pass animation yeah like this and then what I have this is alpha mate and it's appearing so then um, I have attached I've attached this let me show you yeah I have attached this shape to this one because I have trim pass here, like uh, let's make it red, orange, and oh, where is this?
30s. There I have also three pause animation, start and end. And it comes and it creates the illusion like ribbon is moving, right? Yeah, I hope you get it. Let's turn off this one. So let's go to the main ribbon. And what I have done here is the last ribbon I have attached to this middle orange. Here I have attached this part to this part and this part attached to this part. So it's um, so when I'm changing the um, when I'm transforming the main orange, this one I have press U. You can see that I have position and scale parameters here. It's uh, it's big at the beginning and then comes to the left with position and became smaller with scale animation okay now let's go to here Alpha mate. Okay. As you can see, this part is also animated with trim pass. Yeah. Once it comes uh, to the end to here, then starting middle middle part like this. You got it? And this with alpha mate, the shapes, this red shapes are place where the ribbons gonna appear, okay? Yeah, like this. And like this. Yeah, like this. Oh, also, I have to make alpha mate for this part. This alpha mate, yeah. I've done the same for the this blue part. This is the shell players and trim pass animations and alpha mate, and that's it. Here I have used shape layers as well. I'm looking for these blue parts here, dark blue parts. I think it will be yeah. Also, this, this effect is created with path. Yeah. Okay, now let's explain how I have animated the text. Let's go to the text composition. This effect is very well known for After Effects. See, I have used Trim Pass again. Like, I just draw um, the lines like this over the um, text. Let's increase the stroke and, and yeah, fill option. Remove. Yeah. I've, I've done this part like this, okay? Let's remove this, we don't need it again. Yeah, I've done this like this and press U. I have used trim path here. Okay, let's scroll down. Trim path. I 
like this uh, it's increasing from 0 to 100 and then alpha mate if you do it like this yeah do the same and when you make alpha mate this end part appears in this end part appears inside the stroke I do the same for another parts as well and position and scale animation in, in N's case I have used just position make sure to attach this stroke to N this stroke to A this X stroke to X stroke I have yeah this stroke to X and this stroke to U like this so what I have used here press U I have used here scale what I use here scale yeah I've used scales here so it's when it comes like it's big and you think like it comes from the screen <laughs> it comes from our eyes and goes back great yeah and that's it the final motion is so sweet and cute and smooth keep up guys keep up your hard work and you're gonna create the same stuff really soon if you like please like this video and subscribe my channel for more tu tutorials in the future thank you guys have a nice day